chapter perfect competition and the topic is long run equilibrium of firm and industry long run can be taken to be a combination of many short periods assume that the competitive firm starts in the short run and let us say that the firm is earning abnormal profit in the beginning first step abnormal profit in the short run for the firm the question is whether this abnormal profit will continue also in the long period look under perfect competition there is free entry so when a firm is earning abnormal profit attracted by this new firm will enter the industry because of free entry so second step new firms enter the industry in the long run when the firm is earning abnormal profit in the beginning when new firms enter the number of firms increase in the industry as a result quantity of output will also increase so number 3 increased in quantity of output increase in quantity of output we will increase the industry supply and tend to reduce the price in the industry so number 4 industry supply increases and price falls the next step is so number 5 due to fall in price the original abnormal profit of the firm will fall fall in abnormal profit but as long as abnormal profit exists new firm will keep entering and price will keep falling in the end equilibrium will take place when price is minimum enough to give the firm just normal profit so equilibrium will be at a price that keeps normal profit to be firm in the long period then the firm will earn just normal profit even if it has started with abnormal profit we can now come to the diagram
the left hand side is for the industry and the right hand side is for a farm start with the industry diagram demand curve of the industry is downward sloping the supply curve of the industry is upward sloping equilibrium between demand and supply is at point E. So initial price is say P1. We are taking P that is price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. Look at P1. The firm is earning short-run abnormal profit. As you know, firm is a price taker, industry is a price maker. So initially, the P1 price set by the industry is accepted by the firm or taken by the firm. This becomes demand curve for the firm in the beginning. Let us say the firm is at short-run equilibrium here. This is the short-run average cost. This is the short run marginal cost. Equilibrium point is at N where marginal revenue is equal to short run marginal cost. This difference between price and average cost at the point of equilibrium is the abnormal profit for the farm. This particular rectangle, the shaded area, is the abnormal profit of the farm in the short term. The farm is operating in the long run so draw the long run average cost curve like this this is the long run average cost this is the long run marginal cost of the firm if this price prevail in the market continues in the market then the firm can earn this much of abnormal profit, this big rectangle of abnormal profit in the long run, say at point J, where the long run marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue. But this doesn't happen because of entry. When new firms are entering, industry output is increasing, the supply curve of the industry will increase, leading to fall in price. Due to fall in price and fall in abnormal profit in the long run, as the process continues, many firms may leave the industry as well who cannot cope with falling prices. So these adjustments will take place when the supply curve has shifted so much, say from S1 in the beginning to S2 so that the new equilibrium in the industry is at E double dash and new price is P2. At this new price, the firm is just earning normal profit because at the new price P2, the equilibrium of the firm is at point say K where the long run marginal cost is equal to this new demand curve MR dash and AR dash at price P2. Look at the short run curves. This is the short run curve, short run average cost SAC dash, short run marginal cost call it SMC dash, the rate of output at this point of equilibrium for the firm is Q dash. This Q dash rate of output gives normal profit at the price P2. Come to the industry. At the industry level, the rate of output will be upper case Q dash corresponding to the equilibrium point E double dash 
where the demand curve of the industry meets the supply curve H2 that is the new supply curve for the industry. As you know the industry rate of output is the sum of firms output so the industry output will be higher. Look at the long run equilibrium point of the firm once again. At this point price equals the minimum of the average cost that is the long run average cost as well as the short run average cost. This is also equal to the long run marginal cost and the short run marginal cost. So at the long run equilibrium price equals minimum of long run average cost equal to minimum of short run average cost is equal to long run marginal cost is equal to the short run marginal cost. Look at the short run cost curves at the point of equilibrium once again that is SAC dash and SMC dash. This particular plant in the short run is known as the optimum plant which gives the equilibrium point and the normal profit in the long run. Come to the characteristics of the long run equilibrium. Under perfect competition, the long run equilibrium point is efficient. And this efficiency can be described in two ways. Number one, since price is equal to minimum of average cost both in the short and long run, you can see that the minimum point of the average cost here. When average cost is minimized, it is called productive efficiency. productive efficiency. Number two, since price is also equal to marginal cost at the point of equilibrium, this is called allocative efficiency. Allocative efficiency implies that the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus is maximized. Hence, the long run equilibrium under perfect competition is efficient. 